Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see an interesting Azure Data Factory use case. We will see various Azure Data Factory definitions as well as their practical implementation. Our use case is copy a file from one container to another container within a storage account using Azure Data Factory. The two prerequisites for implementing this use case is you need to have an Azure subscription and you need to have the source file in the storage account source container. In order to implement this use case, we have to follow these four steps. The first step is to create a linked service. The next step is to create a pipeline and import the copy activity. The third step is to create the source and the sync data set. The fourth step is to create the pipeline. These steps will make more sense when we do the practical implementation. Here is my Azure Data Factory. Inside my storage account, I am going to create two containers, source and the target. Let me go inside my storage account. Inside the my container, I am going to create two containers, source and the target. Container 1 is source and container 2 is for target. Inside my source container, I am going to place the source file. I will upload the file by clicking the upload button and I am going to place the source file. Here is my source file. Let me upload the file. My source file is uploaded here. Now I am going to create a pipeline to copy the file from source container to the target container. Now let me go to my data factory and create a linked service that links my data store and the data factory. Let me click the manage button and create my linked service. My source file is in the blob storage. Let me give a name to my linked service ls test and let me select my azure subscription and my storage account name and click create my linked service is created my next step is to create the pipeline for that i'll click the author icon and create the pipeline let me click a new pipeline and mention the pipeline name PL test. Inside my pipeline, let me import the copy data activity. Copy data activity. The copy data activity is used to copy the data from source to destination. Now, inside the source setting, let me create a source data set that reference the CSV file which is in the source container. Let me click plus and select blob storage. And select the format as CSV file and click continue. Let me specify the data set name. ds test source and let me select the linked service which is ls test and specify the path where I have the source file. Let me go to the source container and select my source file and click OK. My source data set is created. Let me go to the sync setting where I have to create the destination data set. 
let me create the destination data set that is in Azure blob storage and my file type is delimited text and click continue. Here I have to specify the target data set ds test target. Now let me select the linked service and specify the destination path. My destination path is the target container and click OK. Now my pipeline is created. Let me validate my pipeline. There is no error in my pipeline. Now let me run my pipeline by clicking the debug button. The pipeline is running. The pipeline got succeeded. Now let me go to the storage account and see if my source file is transferred to the target container. Here is my target container. Let me refresh the page. The file is successfully transferred from the source container to the target container. This is how we have to copy the data from one container to another container. I hope you learned something new today. We will learn a new use case in my next video and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.